Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in a park in Northern Virginia, and this is gonna be probably be a very short video because basically this is a scouting uh, trip for me. I haven't been here before. Uh, I did come down to this uh, creek that's down here and did find a composition. This may be the only one I had because since it's late in the day, it's only about an hour or so before uh, sunset and the light is starting to go. So I'm gonna walk you through this composition really quickly and uh, might wind up you know, editing this as a short, I don't know. But as you can see here, this creek uh, bends around to the right and where's the, okay, yeah, so it bends around to the right and I've got some nice reflections here of the water and so some arching trees on either side over here and over here. They make a nice arch um, right over the scene. So basically it's kind of framing it and I've got this kind of previewed as a 16 by nine um, composure composition because I don't want to have the sky. It's a high blue sky, but I like the way that it kind of looks here. I've got some rocks in the foreground. Actually, I might just tilt the camera down a little bit to get the rocks a little bit, a little bit better. They're not a terribly important part of the scene, but it helps fill it out. So my exposure settings are ISO 100. I've got my 24 to 105 lens on at about 45 millimeters, it looks like. F10. Uh, I've got a polarizer filter on here to cut, cut, kind of cut down the glare and actually, actually cut down the glare. I'm gonna, probably going to adjust the polarizer a little bit to see what different effects it has on the reflections. And even though, I'm sorry, the bird watcher just came, uh, came out of me and I, and I think an eagle just flew over my head. Interesting. Anyway, so I've got 1 13th of a second F10, ISO 100. I'm gonna take a shot here right now. All right, and I've got this pre-framed, like I said before, 16 by nine. I think that's gonna be the ultimate uh, format. I'm gonna take a few variations of this, whichever one works out the best, you'll see. In fact, I'm probably going to drop my camera to a little bit lower angle to get those rocks that are in the foreground a little closer to the, uh, to the main composition. I don't want a really a big gap there. And also, lowering the camera will help, help me remove some of the uh, reflections. Uh, not, not the reflections, but some of the sky reflection. So I think that actually might make it a little bit more cohesive composition. So I want to put up a few shots and whichever one works out best, you're going to see right now. I mentioned that I set the R5 to display the image in a 16 to nine crop. Many digital cameras today allow preview settings and various aspect ratios and crop factors. Some cameras discard the cropped out area from the actual RAW file, but Canon cameras retain the whole RAW image, so you can adjust the crop in post if necessary. For my final composition, I did a four image focus stack, which I will explain now. Well, for that last composition, as I probably already explained, I had focus stack once I decided to really get the rocks involved with the composition. Um, yeah, the distance between front to back required that I take about four or five images and combine them in post. And I'm going to wind up doing the same thing here. I basically just have turned myself around, pointing the, up the other, other direction up the, up the stream. And as you can see on the video here, um, I'm shooting this as a vertical. And this time I've, I've actually got the whole, uh, I'm using the whole, uh, the whole screen. Uh, I kind of, what I like about this, my focus is really this, this kind of dead tree is right out here. But what I really, you know, it's kind of overhanging. It's not in that dead. It's, being, it's just craggy looking. But uh, that's what's uh, the centerpiece of my composition. I like the reflection that it forms. I like the way that the shoreline kind of curves around and leads towards it, as well as the reflection of the tree itself leading, uh, leading towards it. And in the background, you can see the golden light of the hills uh, as the setting sun, which the sun is about to set, is... Um, illuminating those hills in the background. I've still got some sky in the in the shot as well as some sky in the reflection. I'm gonna to have to just live with that and maybe do a little bit something with it in post to uh, to uh, get the best out of it. So my settings for this image, I've still got the polarizer on here. I've still got the same lens, the 24 to 105. Uh, it's gonna, this raw file is gonna look really dark because of the high uh, dynamic range of this image. I don't want to blow out the reflection, the highlights of the reflection. So I've actually exposed way, rather than to the right. I guess it is to the right because I'm as far to the right as I can get without actually having, um, um, without losing the highlights altogether. But I am going to work a lot 
to bring this thing up in post. But my exposures right now are F ISO 100, F11, one eighth of a second. And I'm gonna take, again, take a series of images from front to back, whoops, from front to back. I'm bouncing on a rock here because I marks the log. If I step off that into the water, it's gonna be over my boots. So, so if I look a little unsteady, that's because I'm feeling a little unsteady. But I'm getting back to the shot here. I'm gonna take my first image, focus on the knoll of grass that's right in the front. Now I'm gonna focus on the rock that's a little bit further out. Take that shot. Now I'm gonna focus on the rock that's a little further out. Now I'm focusing on the tree. And last, I'll take a shot that's focused on the, last I'll take a shot that's focused on the background. I may not need that one in the image because uh, the distance from the tree to the background is gonna be enough that probably the background will be an acceptable focus. But I really wanted to get the front, the foreground and midground in, in equal amount of focus. So that's my thought there. If the shot works out as I think it will, you'll see it right now. In hindsight, the composition is a bit cluttered and the image itself is underexposed significantly. I worked really hard in post to bring the shadows back up and I think I've succeeded fairly well, but I'm not sure if this image is really a keeper, it's certainly not a portfolio piece, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Well, it's about a half hour before sunset and I'm losing the light very rapidly, so I'm gonna make my way back to the car and call this an episode very short one as i said at the beginning but i think i got a couple of decent shots out of it uh this is a uh, kind of a scouting trip for me since this is my first visit to this particular park and i'm going to try and get back here pretty soon but in the interim if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see more of it please uh if you're not already subscribed hit that subscription button that's right down over here and hit the notification bell and all notifications so that the next time i upload you'll see it right away i hope to get back to you very very soon and until the next time bye